Good evening, everyone. They've been on a collision course since the beginning of the girls' basketball season, and tonight was the night to see if St. Ignace and Holton would meet in another Class C regional final. Holton faced Ishpeming in the second game with the doubleheader at Marquette. We will pick up the action in the first quarter. And this pass will be bobbled and right into the hands of Houghton's Hannah Hill. And she will cut to her left and go back to her right hand, put that one in 3 0. Orange and black. Next, Amory Gerard, Joy Carroll, Eddie Greer Welch for the layup. 7 0 Gremlins. And Mike Delangelo needs a timeout on the Houghton bench. But it would not work right away. Taylor Dillinger with the left hand, loops it in. She had 23, and now it's 11 to one, Houghton. Ishpeming's offense gets clicking near the end of the quarter. Mary Zolke to Jordan Gregg, very nice. Houghton still led 16 to five after eight minutes. In the second, Jordan Gregg will return the pass to Mary Zolke for three. That brought Ishpeming within 16 to eight. Zolke had 15 points, but I have a feeling that's about as close as Holton was able to get all night. Elisa Germer with the basket and one. She had 18. Holton coasted to the victory 77 to 49. Now let's check on that first game to see if St. Ignace could hold up its end of the bargain against West Iron County. And in the first quarter, Kylie Erickson to Joanna Pleaser. And West of Iron County is on top, 2 0. Moments later, Shannon Kosky, Jacqueline Wara for three. 27 points for Wara, 5 0. Wycons. Then St. Ignace settled down and started getting things going. Kelly Wright, Samantha Guggen, two of her 18 Saints are on the board. Next, it's Sarah Cullop, the cross country runner. Between a few defenders, no problem. And the Saints are in front after that. Kelly Wright would then find Morgan Levake who will get that basket and one. And St. Ignace was starting to be in pretty good shape. Then off the inbound, Emily Hinsman to Lauren Goldthorpe for two of her 16. Nice head fake there. 42-24 at the half. Saints go on to win 71-64. Wycon sure made it a game in the second half, cutting the deficit down to three. So St. Ignace Holton, 7 o'clock Thursday at Marquette. Class D at Kingsford. We'll start with Superior Central against Forest Park. Superior Central in the white. And that is a kind bounce for Vanessa Freeberg. Two of her 22. Cougars lead after three quarters, 29-28. To the fourth. Lob pass does not quite work. Lexi Gusser with the interception. Lexi finds Kelsey, or Kendra Campbell, I should say. All nine of her points in the second half. Trojans lead by two. Next for the Cougars, Lindsey Richmond, Jamie Seppinen. For three, she had time to line up the laces, and that one goes for the stripes if you prefer. She had a good night. Cougars within four, but Gussard had 20 of her 22 in the second half. This one bounces in kindly. 42-34 Trojans. Then time winding down at the end of the game. Uh, Lexi is going to be a tad greedy, but not too much, and I can understand why. She hits the layup at the buzzer to go over the 1,000 point mark for her career. 1,001, and the Trojans go on to win this one. 52-42. So Forest Park is into the regional final Thursday against Barker Harris or Barriga. Well, new hairdos I haven't seen yet. First quarter, Abby Medelinski inside to cousin Sarah Medelinski, and the Broncos are off and running at 2 0. Next for the blue and gold, Sarah Madelinski to Kylie Van Brockman outside. That's good for three. And if Bark River's hitting from the outside, that can be trouble for the opponent. Next for the Vikings, off the miss. Taryn Nirmala with the board. She'll find Jenna Haken in right behind her. That's good for three. And that made it 10-7, Bark River Harris. Later in the first quarter, Megan DeRushi to Van Brocklin. Uh-oh, not another three. I mean, this is like several pages down in the, in the scouting report. You don't expect this. It was a good night for Bark River Harris after that. They led 38-18 at the half and picked up the victory 73-43. So it's Bark River Harris and Forest Park Thursday night in Kingsford. Alas, we have bad news to tell you. Brimley did not hold up its end of the bargain this year. Posen won 62-60, and Gaylord St. Mary defeated Mackinac City 62-29. So the Class D quarterfinal next Tuesday will be, dare I say it, in Sault Ste. Marie.
bummer. Class B, regional semifinal in Gaylor. Gladstone against the Gladwin Flying G's. First quarter, Katie Becker, the bounce pass to Jamie Bottroff. That didn't look like a bounce pass, but it's good enough to give Gladstone a 7-2 lead. Next, Whitney Wells with the steal. She will find Miss Bottroff once again. Actually, Courtney Neville does, and the Braves lead 14-5. Jenna Leesner over to Aaron Body. Body had 15 points, but uh, Botroff had 24. Gladstone, easy winner, 72 44. Ludington beat Sheboygan 70 39, so it's Ludington and Gladstone Thursday night for the regional title in Gaylord. NBA basketball, Rotney Stuckey 34 points for Detroit, an overtime victory over the Lakers 88 85 at UpperMichiganSource.com. All right, I'm kind of slowly jumping on the Red Wings bandwagon. I'm, yeah, I'm well, sure, there. they're losing now. That explains a lot. All right, well, I didn't know that either. <laughs> there you go. I'm very slow. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>